Warren, thanks for joining me today. Pleasure to be here. Warren, Green Relief is a producer of cannabis who uses aquaponics as its growing system. Tell me a bit about aquaponics and what drew you to that system as opposed to the traditional ones. Well, uh, aquaponics is the most sustainable form of agriculture used in the world today. Um, we use 90% uh, less water than any other form of agriculture. Uh, also use, using fish, uh, the solid waste produced by fish uh, converted microbially to the, all the NPK, uh, fertilizers the plants need to grow and thrive. Um, so sustainability has always been a corporate focus for us and it was actually my wife Lynn, a uh, landscape architect, who started doing all the early research in aquaponics. We decided to, uh, we did a little test uh, facility in an MMAR grow that some friends of ours had mm -hmm. and uh, it seemed to work out just fine. Two years of R&D trying to get cannabis to grow proficiently in an aquaponics scenario because nobody had ever done this before and there are no books that tell you how to do, uh, you know, grow cannabis aquaponically. There are no, uh, uh, there's no data out there at all. So we mm. had to figure it out. Mm. So with the uh, help of uh, Guelph University, uh, Dr. Nick Savadov and uh, Lethbridge University, Dr. Charlie Schultz, there's uh, many, many of the uh, pioneers of aquaponics have been to our facility and helped us out and figured the science out of growing uh, cannabis uh, hydroponically or, or aquaponically. Right, so the whole NPK profile is available in exactly the right proportion? Good question. Uh, there are uh, ways to manipulate an aquaponic system to provide uh, NPK to the plants at the time that they need it. Uh, plants uh, require different amounts of, of, say, phosphorus and potassium at different phases of growth. Uh, manipulating your aquaponic system to be able to provide those nutrients at the right time mm -hmm. is what we had to figure out. Mm. And uh, so two years of R&D uh, and we've got it. And right now nobody grows cannabis as uh, robust uh, uh, as, uh, uh, as as far as quantities per yield. Nobody is keep, can keep up with uh, our system. We're the, the Do you have an eyeball on the metric? How many How many grams per square feet per year? Uh, we're growing differently. So everybody's model in this space is differently. You've got the, we'll say the greenhouse guys, you've got the indoor growing guys. Everybody has their own way that they think they're getting the most yields out of their plants. We are growing a very small plant. Our plants, when they're done, are only about two feet tall, mm. but they are all cola. They are all flower from top to bottom. Mm. Uh, we do that in eight weeks. From the time we take a cutting to the time we're harvesting our plant is eight weeks. And therefore we're having seven, a, pro a little more than six harvests per year. Uh, close to seven, um, and we plant per square foot. So if you take those into account, we're getting a, a little over a pound per square foot per annum hmm. over okay. our harvest. Wow, that's uh, that's significant. It's uh, well, I, I'm going to say I'm 30 percent better than anybody else yeah, in the industry. Yeah, actually, the nearest metric I've heard is 350 grams per square foot. A pound would be 454 grams per square foot. And so that puts you at that. the top of the list. Nobody uh, grows more proficiently than we do. Interesting. Okay, so in terms of the cost of maintaining this system, is it more expensive than aqua or rather hydroponics, or is it cheaper? What are the it's, advantages? We are growing per gram our cost of sales right now, uh, traditional cost of sales uh, or cost of goods out the door, whichever you want to uh, uh, use a dollar forty two per gram today. Hmm. Right now we're currently growing on a thirty two thousand square foot facility and have just uh, signed a um, fifty million dollar deal for expansion. so our two hundred and twenty thousand square foot expansion uh, starting within a month. Hmm. Um, so uh, our, I expect our costs uh, by the time the expansion's done, as well as the four other satellites we're building as well in different provinces, uh, will be down in the, I'm going to guess mid 80 cents, mm. uh, 80, 80 to 85 cents per gram oh. will be where we'll shake out a year from now. So Green Relief has really been the sleeper in the industry. When are you planning to go public? Well, uh, uh, we uh, have just uh, uh, finalized some discussions internally, uh, our management team, and we are going to be doing a spring IPO. Sure. So apart from the aquaponic component, which I guess is the majority outside of the cloning phase, uh, what, how, does your, how does your business model differentiate itself from other ACMPR producers? Are you growing different strains? Do you have a different sort of client approach? Uh, all of my competition uh, will say we all have to grow to a, a standard. Uh, Health Canada sets the bar very, very high uh, for uh, what we need to do to achieve a final product going out to the marketplace. Uh, the, the, differences, the differences between what Green Relief is doing and what uh, some of the other companies, 
We're not going to be taking advantage of the rec market in any meaningful way. We are going to be a medical company. Our philosophy has always been we want to help people. So our sustainable uh, uh, agriculture, helping the environment, uh, donating all of our fish to Second Harvest, helping people. We've served over 35,000 meals so far with the Second Harvest group, with all the tilapia that go out of our system. Mm. And uh, we want to explore this product scientifically and try to get the most we can. We truly want a prescriptive medicine uh, from from uh, our research in, in the cannabis space. So that's what happens to the fish. They get do donated as dinner. That's correct. That's, that's interesting. Cor that's correct. So Second Harvest, there, I think there are about uh, uh, eight or ten homeless shelters they're delivered to. Uh, about 350 tilapia every five weeks sure. or so going into that space. Okay, great. That's a, that's a brilliant introduction to the company. It's a different take on the whole business. We'll be following with interest. Thanks for joining us today. I really appreciate the opportunity. Thank you.